What are the living letters? Well, simply put, they are the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, or Aleph Bet. Now, in English, our, word, our letters create a sound that form a word that identifies something specific. In Hebrew, the letters are pictures, and they describe something that's really far beyond just the face value of something. So not only does the word describe something and something deep, the letters of the Hebrew Aleph Bet reveal a picture that takes the meaning of that word and reveals so much more behind it. Let's take a look at the Hebrew living letter Dalet. And Dalet means door. So Dalet isn't just a sound like the D sound that we have in English. The Dalet being a door and being a picture, it represents that place of it being a door, a portal, or an entrance or an exit. And so you, you can ask the question, well, what do I do with the door? Do I go out of the door or do I let something in the door? Is the door then something more than just being something like a, like a, a door? Could it be a place of choice where a choice is made to go from one place to another, from one dimension to another, or from one paradigm or thought process to another? You see, in Genesis 1.1, it says this, In beginning, God created. And as far as I want to go when it comes to the explaining of the Hebrew living letters, because in Hebrew, it doesn't just say in beginning, in the beginning, Elohim created, or in the beginning, God created. It actually says, Barashit bara Elohim et. There is a two letters that are right after that statement that are not actually translated in the English. And those two letters are the Aleph Tav. Now, when we stop to think about what Yeshua said while he was here on the earth, he said, I am the Alpha and Omega. Well, did he? You see, Yeshua was Jewish, and he spoke Hebrew. And so what he really said was this, I am the Aleph and the Tav. And he went on to say, I am the beginning and the finishing. But more specifically, what he was saying is, I am the Word made flesh. John 1.1 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And this is a, a, a direct reflection of that. Well, not only does this, this Aleph Tav represent Yeshua, but the Aleph Tav here also represents the place where, as God created, the first thing that he spoke was the Aleph Tav, the Hebrew Aleph Bet, into existence. And in doing so, he spoke each and every letter and gave each and every letter a specific and beautiful perspective of his unknowing and un identifiable, at least from our perspective, uh, heart, and it expressed another side of the Father like we've never known before. And so in that, the Aleph Tav then began to allow for the next step in the process. You see, right after that, we have Hashemayim Va'et Ha'aretz, or in other words, what we know in English as, He created the heavens and the earth. You see, the first thing that the Father had to do was to create the living letters, to create the words to be able to speak the heavens and the earth. And then he began to, to move on from there, part of which we were. On the sixth day, he created man, and he created us. So the expression of each and every one of the living letters is not only just uh, an expression of the Father, it is an expression of all of creation and all of us. So you see, each place is given uh, the right to be what it was meant to be. And it's multifaceted when you look at it from that perspective. Just like I'm a son, I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm a friend. The beautiful thing about the living letters is that the living letters also express different perspectives of the Father, in that they show a, a, a the heart of the Father through the way that they are revealing themselves to us. You see, it says this the, in Hebrews 4, verse 12, For the Word of God is alive and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. And some of you may ask the question, well, how are they living, and how do they help me? Well, this is the beginning of that. Because in that place where the Word of God is alive and active and is sharper than any two-edged sword, it penetrates even to the biting of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and the thoughts of the, and the intents of the heart. 
You see, the letters take us in the place where it goes even deeper. I love this in Hebrew because when Father first began to reveal to me the Hebrew living letters, I began to see a depth that I never imagined could be possible. I began to see another aspect of the words that I was looking at in the uh, Strong's Concordance, and it allowed me to see something far deeper. So this is what the living letters are. If you would like to join us, we're going to be in our school at the, uh, at the beginning of January. We'll be taking registration very soon. So keep on the lookout as we prepare for, the, for the, our next school year. Our School of the Living Letters this year will be different than we've had before because it will be one where we're going to not only go through the Hebrew Living Letters. Towards the end of the school year, we're going to begin to take those Living Letters and begin to look at Hebrew words and Scripture itself and then begin to see a deeper aspect. Blessings and shalom.